When we talk about ethics, we're talking about a branch of moral philosophy that is concerned with the nature of goodness. So how do we know what is good and how do we know what is right and wrong? And more importantly, how do we behave in a way that is good and how do we behave in a way that is right as opposed to acting in the wrong way. Now, of course, those terms right and wrong are going to be ones which we debate over the course of this module, both online here and in our workshops. So that brings us to the understanding or the dilemma, if you like, that we face when we talk about ethics, particularly in a professional sense, are ethics intrinsic to us as individuals? So do we bring the collective experiences that we've had and the previous ethical decisions that we've made, do we bring all those to bear on our ethical judgments at any particular moment? Or are they a product simply of intuition? Or are they a combination of both? Because our intuition, even though it feels natural, of course, is informed by all our other experiences that we've had over time. Now, that's a particularly important point when we're talking in a professional context. So we might talk about our professional intuition, which when you think about intuition in that way, in terms of professional intuition, the idea of our professional experiences and our professional development clearly informs our ethical decision making or more broadly the decisions that we make professionally. So in a professional context, ethics are both a combination of our personal experiences and our professional experiences and how they interact to inform what it is that we do and how we behave in any particular set of circumstances. Now, the really interesting thing about ethics and also the really confusing, confronting and problematic issue about ethics is that we are dealing with issues that are not in any way clear cut. So the study of ethics is concerned with developing compelling and equally legitimate reasons for doing something particularly when that situation that we find ourselves in brings our values into conflict or the situation we find ourselves in challenges our values. So ethics, the study of ethics and the application of ethics is a process. So ethics is about finding a rational justification for acting in situations that challenge or conflict with our values. And I want to draw your attention to that point of rational justification. So we're dealing with, with it, when we deal with ethics, when we talk about ethics, there it's important to point out that there's no right or wrong answer. What I think is ethical and what your tutors think is ethical may not necessarily be the decision that you make and that's okay. What we're looking for and what we're concerned with when we study ethics or, and when we apply ethics is coming up with a rational justification for how we act. Now of course rational implies that, it, that the decisions we make are rule-based they are based on some set of overarching principles. There's evidence to support what it is that we that we do or that we or what decision we make. But it's important to stress that we're working in grey areas when we when we talk about ethics. And that makes ethics both really exciting to sink our teeth into, but also quite challenging. 
It's important at the outset to also distinguish between morals and ethics. Now, the two are obviously related and over the course of the module and in the readings, you will find in some ways, morals and ethics kind of used interchangeably. But I think it's important to make a distinction between them at the outset, just so we can use that as a basis for working out what's right and what's wrong and what needs to be discussed and thought about more carefully. So when we talk about morals, we're really talking about a set of beliefs that we as a culture embrace to help understand what is good and what is bad in the world. So there are certain principles that everyone or the majority of the population agree with. And if you break those principles, there are usually legal consequences. There are usually some sort of, there is usually some sort of official sanctioned punishment. So I'm talking about, you know, breaking the law. I'm talking about, you know, a whole set of, of social taboos. Um, now, these can sometimes be culturally based, but we generally believe that, you know, committing a whole range of crimes is wrong. We, we believe as a culture that something like incest is morally wrong, um, all of those sorts of things. So when we talk about morals, we're talking about a largely universally shared set of beliefs that we embrace to help us distinguish between what's right and wrong. Ethics, on the other hand, is the reasoning process we use to justify doing something or to justify not doing something when values in our belief systems clash. So we go back to this idea of the gray area and the way we work through that gray area, the way we work through those conflicting values is through a reasoning process. And that's, the, that's what I want to introduce you to in this module and then increasingly get you to apply your own ethical reasoning processes to scenarios over the course of the week.